I remember hearing this quote once. Uh, it was said by the Buddha, and someone asked him who he was. They asked him, are you a man, are you a saint, or are you an angel? And his response was, I am awake. I've never really felt a sense of identity the way other people around me have felt a sense of identity. I've only ever felt like myself and I don't really know how to explain that to people because I mean it's me and they can't they can't really know me. I mean people can get to know me but they can't know what's inside me the way I can. Uh, my name is Rachel. I'm doing a film, a documentary about identity. And I'm just interested in like who you think you are and how you identify yourself and why. That's a good question. That's a hard question. I don't really know. I. <laughs> How did you come about this question? Well, I guess I'm trying to figure out like what exactly identity is, like what underlying principle defines identity or a way to explain identity. Because so many people identify with so many different things. For example, I'm half white and I'm half Native American. And my dad identifies quite a bit with his Native American culture, but I don't identify with culture. Uh, I am Chickahominy. You are not. <laughs> mm -hmm. Interesting. I remember once we were on the train and he asked me, like, oh, do you feel Chickahominy? Which is, that's the tribe we're from, Chickahominy. Um, like, do you feel Native American? And I said, no, because I don't know what it feels like to be anything else. And when you're talking about Chickahominy, you're talking about a minority experience. I remember when I was in grade school, I used to get in fights simply because I was Chickahominy. There would be those that would uh, taunt me, that would bait me. Uh, I was less than they were. Because I haven't had the same experiences that my dad has had, I can never understand his identity. Just because he identifies with ethnicity, I don't think that makes it any less of an identity. My understanding is that you really don't identify Chickahominy. That would be something I would like. That, you know, you would say, yes, I am Chickahominy. That is who I am. Because if you don't identify with being Chickahominy to a certain degree, you don't identify with me because I am Chickahominy. I love my dad and I respect him and I care about him a lot, but I still need to stay true to who I am. I, I still need to stay true to myself. I feel like I'm defined by um, my, I guess, awakeness and my sensitivity to the things around me. Very thoughtful. I think you have a sharp, sharp mind. I kind of developed this whole like analytical side. I love to overanalyze things. It annoys a lot of people, um, but I like it. And um, I don't know if that maybe came from my environment, but I definitely know like or think, yeah, and I'm pretty sure that I know um, that. I like, I've always been this way. Um, I know times when I hear you with your friends analyzing books and analyzing characters and, and philosophical issues and I'm like, wow, you, you blow my mind because I was never like that when I was 17. And the nature of my identity versus the nature of my dad's identity is very different. The realization of this big difference between us, like, kind of made me think like, you know, well, what is identity? Like, what's the nature of identity? I have that genetic piece just like my dad does, so... I think that there's got to be more to it. So, who do you think you are? Uh, I'm a musician. I'm a Canadian and I'm a mother. I'm a student. I think secretly I'm a 50s housewife. Who am I? You know, I know my roles. 
You know, who am I deep down inside? I think you just have to do a lot of soul searching. I don't feel like identity is one certain thing, but like a compilation of all the fragments that make a person up. It's definitely an internal thing. Like you are kind of, sometimes it's like you don't even know how to explain it. Like momentarily different things can define you, but at one point you find out that there's like a couple things that will always define you. The one thing that I think I've figured out is that identity is something that's internal. You have to figure out what is significant for you. Increasingly, I do know this, that you are your own person. Uh, I think that you are a person who has an inquiring sort of mind. You're a person who doesn't necessarily take the pat answer and just say, oh, okay, and just kind of go with the flow. The role that you take in relationship to the things in your life are what make you who you are. I'd much rather focus on the things that honestly I'm drawn to. And I think that as a result, I'll be happy and I think I'll have a meaningful identity.